model, the Laplace model checking made symbolic. So this joint work with my colleague, Jure Kukovec at Duyuvin, and with my supervisor, Igor Konov at Indria, and now at Interchange Foundation. Here's the summary. In this paper, we developed a symbolic model checker for the language that I plus, and our model checker uses the SMT software Z3 as a backend engine. Uh, because Z3 is a powerful tool for automatic reasoning. And however, these languages, the plus and Z3, they have different levels of expressive. Therefore, designing a set of production rules from the plus to SMT is the central challenge that we address in our paper. Now, the plus is mainly used to specify distributed algorithms. Therefore, our model checker focuses on two classes of properties, invariance and inductive invariance. Uh, verification of these properties in general is undecidable. Therefore, we require that all specification parameters are fixed and the number of steps from initial days is bounded. And uh, if you're interested, you can visit our website to know more about the project. The URL is on the slide. And as you can see here, our paper passed the artifact evaluation with many stamps. So let uh, me give you more detail about the paper. The first question is why we need to use the Ray Plus. Here you can see on the screen, there are many industrial projects, for example, from Amazon or Microsoft. And they have a common thing. At some point in the development, it were buggy. And how did people find a bug? By using DLC, the model checker of the Plus. And let me give you a brief introduction about the language. This language is designed by Leslie Lamport, this guy, uh, to specify and reason about concurrent and distributed algorithms. And now, the standard practice is to run DLC to find a bug. So now we show you how a plus specification looks like in my talk. I use the problem lead the election in rings as a motivating example. In the example, there are n processes with unique IDs. Like here, we have five processes, and the ID is from one to five. And uh, they are put in a ring, and then they can communicate, communicate each other by sending message clockwise. And the problem is, I need to agree on the leader. And the LCR algorithm here is a famous solution for this problem. Uh, in this problem, the process with the maximum ID become a leader. And here is the pseudocode. You don't need to understand everything here. The only thing I want to emphasize is we cannot verify the pseudocode. That's why we need to use the specification language to the plus. Here is our spec. First, we need to declare the library, the constant, the variables. Here we have to constant and the number of processes and neighbor, the topology of network. And then we need to uh, define the formula for the initial states, like here. And the middle part is about the transition formula. Here, in one step, a process can do one of three actions, self-nominate, forward ID, or becomes a leader. For the class space, here I only show you the first action, self-nominate. This formula means if a process is a candidate, it can send a message to a neighbor. So as you see in the beginning, that TLC is quite good model checker. So why we need to have a new model checker? Here an example. For example, here we have an interesting property in. This property means that uh, the path information of variables and there are no two leaders in a ring. And we want to check whether this property in is an inductive invariant in the uh, algorithm LCR. So it means the following things need to be honed. So first, it is must satisfied in the initial state, and then it is preserved by the transition formula. 
Okay, now let's check this specification with small case, only five processes. We run TLC, and what we have, it takes two hours to find a counter example with TLC. Why so long? The reason is one billion reachable states were generated by TLC. So the natural question is, can we do better? The answer is yes. And that's why we developed a symbolic model checker for Tele Plus. And go back to the example. So you can see that now we can verify this property only in one minute. It's very faster than TLC. Before I show you how we develop our model checker, I would say about the differences about the language trees. There are three major things here. First is about the type system. Tele plus is untyped, but SNT has many types. The second is about the structure and semantics. Both the languages are based on first order logic. Tele plus has more things, actions, and temporal logic. Uh, this thing is used to describe how to move from a current state to next state. And the final is the biggest issue, the backend theories of these languages. They use different theories. For example, Tele Plus used integers, set theory, ZFC, functions, sequences. And SMT used integers, interpretive functions, big vector, and arrays. Therefore, many operators in Tele Plus are not supported in SMT. For example, here, you can see that the empty set, the function update, and the set union are not supported in SMT. So now I will show you how we uh, solve this problem. Here's the workflow, and we have three blocks here in the middle. Each block is for one issue. So let's talk about the first one, type problem. As Tele Plus is untyped, so the first thing we need to do is to define type system for this language. Here is our type system. And this type system supports name, boolean, integer, function, set, sequence, tuple, records. As you can see in this picture, our fragment is smaller than Tele Plus. However, it can support many famous algorithms like Bustos, Graph, Blackberry, Broadcast Agent Type. However, it cannot accept a set of sets of integers and strings, like this example. And compared to what TLC can accept, our fragment and TLC have many common things. For example, here, this the intersection. However, there are differences. TLC doesn't accept the specification backery because it doesn't support an infinite set of integers. However, TLC accept a misset like this. So for this type system, we already implemented a semi-automatic type inference. Our engine can inference about the type of many things in this example. This example is a function from integer to the empty set. Here you can see that we know that one five are integer, a set of one to five are the set of integers. But for the empty set, it fails. So the empty set here can be a set of integer or the set of string. And in this case, we require the type annotation from the user. If the user gives the information like this here, the set of in, so then our engine can inference about the type of the whole expression. This is a set of in from the Sorry, it's a, this type is from in to a set of in. And for the future work, we are developing a fully automatic type inference for this type system. The second part is about decomposition. I will not give you much detail about this part because it's based on our previous paper at the conference ABZ. The main idea is we want to split the transition formula into smaller chunk, and we study each chunk independently. For example, here we split the next formula into three smaller 
actions self nominate for ID. I am a leader. And you can see that uh, this part was at an optimization in our work. So now we are going to the main part of our talk, reduction rules from TLA plus to G3. So in every writing step, we iteratively rewrite TLA expressions. We construct over approximation graphs, which we call arenas, and we generate SMT constraints. First, let me give you a definition of our data structure arenas. So arenas are directed select graphs. The nodes represent symbolic values of the plus expressions, and the edges represent potential membership. And here is a very simple example. So for the set construction of two integers, one and two. So the first could replace one by a new constant C1 here, and then could replace two with a constant C2, and then could replace the whole set with a new constant C3. And the bottom are corresponding arenas. So we start with the empty set, and then we introduce new node C1, and after that we introduce a new node C2, and in the end is the complete graph, uh, is a graph for uh, this uh, expression. So we have three nodes, C3 points to C1 and C2. So the over approximation of C3 here is exactly the set of C1 and C2. However, we have another complicated example. Uh, this is a set filtering. And the expression here means we want to construct a new set from a set of one and two and with the predicate PS. And how can we do that? So here I already showed you the main part. The arrow here means uh, there are many intermediate steps. So first, we replace the set of one and two with C3, and then we replace a new set with C4. And they are corresponding arenas. Again, we start with an empty arena. And in the end, we have a new arena. And, but now we have a new node, C4. And uh, if you look at the arena, you see that C3 and C4, they have the same over approximations. Uh, this C1 and C2. So how can we know exactly what member belongs to C4? We delegate the job to uh, SMT server. And here's the SMT constraint we generated. Uh, but before that, uh, I would like to say that, assume that we can rewrite the predicate P1 to a Boolean constant C5 and uh, P2 to C6. So now we have the SMT constraint. Uh, the first formula means C1 is a member of C4 if and only if C1 is member of the original set and the predicate C5 is evaluated as true. The second formula uh, is similar but is for C2 and C4. And here I have another example. This is a set of set of integers, like here, example. And this is the arena, and this is SMT constraints. I just want to show you an example. And so now I guess you can imagine how our reduction system looks like. Uh, this is a state system. Every state has four element, a type, delay plus expression, an arena, variable assignments, and SMT constraints. Our reduction system defines a transition relation between states. And what SMT theories we are using in our encoding, uh, this is the answer. We use the uh, quantifier free fragment and interpretive functions and integers. That's all. And here is the reduction rules. It's a very simple rule for replacing an integer with a constant. However, we have a more complicated rule, for example, for the set filtering. This is exactly the rule we used uh, in uh, the previous paper. And uh, 
we have a framework for our reaction system. And uh, we implemented our research idea, and now we have the first symbolic model checker for the language Teleplus. And you can download it from our project website here. To evaluate our research ideas, we use the following benchmark. Most of them are distributed algorithms with parameterized. For example, here you have uh, the number of processes. And the others are combinatorial problems. And you can download the benchmarks from this repository on GitHub. So uh, now this experiment. Uh, the first experiment is for inductive invariant checking. Here we have two tables. The first one is for wrong candidates, and the second one is for the right candidates. And you can see that in this table, our model checker is better than TOC. Much better. And your example again, Macquarie is not available for TOC because TOC doesn't accept infinite set of integers. And here is uh, the second experiment about body model checking with invariance. So in this experiment, there is no clear winner. In uh, some benchmark, our model checker is better. You can see here, uh, TOC is timeout, and this not available or out of memory. But in other cases, TOC is better than our model checker. And this experiment, we said the timeout is 24 hours. And this is the kernel language of our framework. Here you can see that we have many operators. Uh, you don't need to understand every operator here. I just show the language. And uh, for every operator, we define a corresponding reduction rules. And uh, we have a proof for the soundness of every operator. Yeah. You can read the proof on the, our paper. It's a very technical proof, so I don't show it here. Uh, so now we are close to the end. So I have presented to you our first symbolic model checker for the language Teleplus called Apache. And uh, our paper, the challenge, the central challenge of our paper address is for reduction rules. And if you are interested, you can read our paper to know more about the complete set of reduction rules, the proof for soundness, and more experiment. Uh, we have more benchmark in our paper. And for the future work, we want to have a fully automatic type inference. This is what we are doing now. And uh, we want to try a new encoding with quantifiers. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, you can visit our project and uh, can have more information about our work. Okay, and that's all. Thanks for listening. Questions? Thanks for the talk. Um, is is the SMT encoding in the end of the pipeline uh, that you're using that, that that is going to be synthesized in the quantifier free uh, subset of what C3 supports? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Like, is it decidable? For instance, is it a decidable fragment? So it, it's marked as U F and I A, but I'm not sure what that means. Uh, so the question. So you asked about the decidable of uh, decidability of our fragment or what? Uh, of, of the part of logic that you submit to the SMB solver, but people already told me. Thanks. Uh, so for our work, because we use only finite structure, so then uh, everything is finite, and for the, the 